ran to the High Court, to the Constitutional Court. Yet that same principle is trampled upon in terms of fairness. So again, we say, please hold the process of declaration on Sunday, do an audit, the independent audit from outside, okay? And then if we have been found to be correct, let we have a new election. If anybody says I'm, I'm wrong, you please say I'm wrong. Nobody. There is no time because we're all in the meeting now. And all of this must happen now. Sometimes as a leader in good standing with Nico, like we are, we need to take certain decisions that we don't have time to, to, to communicate. And that's the principle. Chris Honey, when he was shot, did he went to consult him prior to that? No. He stood in the face of his blood. That same blood which, which created the constitution today. So are you asking me saying that we must first go back to the constitution or should we fight for what is right and fair in terms of the constitution? That's a, we don't stand for bullying. This is bullying. I mean, have you communicated your message that the outcome of the elections must be held in abeyance until with yes. the head office, like the Rock Center? In no, no, we, no we just had the meeting now. So this is what we're proposing. So that must still be communicated. But hopefully, it's really mean this message is going to be because we just came out from the consulting room. Yeah, because okay. the difference with the objection yes. that can be a yes. lord yes. under the deadline. And then you're also calling for an overall recount. That's correct. Yes. So what has been done with that yes? Yeah, well, as I say, we just came from this and nothing has been done as yet. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, no, 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 all right. it's all fine. Yeah. Yeah. We're speaking with the same voice. With we all are speaking with the same voice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I which, which part of the Algerian? We don't know. Okay, I'm Advocate Shamima Sali. I'm the National Spokesperson for the Algerian Party. We just came out of a particular meeting. As you are aware, we are expected to note our concerns by 9 o'clock this evening. And with the influx of concerns that's coming out, out right now, I think it's totally unjust and unfair to have an expectation of by 9 o'clock to note all the concerns and the influx of concerns that we are currently experiencing. To have a free and fair and just election for all the people of South Africa, this is not acceptable. This was raised with the IEC and unfortunately they are unable to give us uh, answers at this particular point. We are going to request for a condemnation for at least 48 hours. Yes. That document is in process. We are going to ask for an extension of time so that we can lodge all the concerns and the complaints that has been coming in. It's very concerning. We are seeing boxes with ballot forms which is not counted. We have seen spoiled ballots. We have seen numbers which are not count adding up at all. We have seen figures being scratched out and altered. We have noted that at areas where we know that we have um, entities that has voted for us, it's reflecting zero. This is a major concern. Even international voters has noted that you we voted for X, Y, and Z party. Here's the proof. It is not reflecting. This is but the tip of the iceberg on what we experienced. Also, there was a um, two o'clock this morning. There was a problem with the boards and the IC and the counting, etc. That is also under investigation. So we need to have answers on what happened. Spy malware. What exactly happened that caused the crash? at 2 o'clock this morning with regard to the IC and the counting. So there is a lot of concerns that has been raised by various political parties, which really notes, if you're looking at the numbers that are currently reflecting and what we're actually getting from the ground, these numbers are already of concern. Right. Okay.